Oh more Biggie's house is turning to something else, guys. Hey, guys, eh? Uh, the kind of conspiracy that is going on in Biggie's house, guys. I don't even know where I would start. I don't even know where I'm stopping from. Anyways, let's just start from where I stop. Okay? Just make sure you watch this video to the very end so you would not miss on any gist at all. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Sell with Me. Just me where you get the gist. As it is, do waiting. As it is, hurt. Of course, you know there's no sleeping on the best school on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yes, subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly post right there. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist? Spewing from the cooking pot, like how do you want to get the J's as it uh, hurts? So, guys, I, I think it's been a, mi a minute, right? I've been busy with one or two, but right here I am back. And I'm gonna be dropping videos in sections as it uh, hurts. If you are sleeping, you know, whenever you wake up, just make sure you go through my channel so that you will not miss any of the gist I'll be posting. Because after this video, I'll be posting other videos back to back. Yes, a lot has really happened. Meanwhile, let's first off talk about what really transpired earlier on today of course we all know what mondays is in biggie's house and yes mondays are always uh i don't know how to put it a week of um emotional day sorry emotional day in biggie's house em well emotions are always high you know so we know that mondays are for the head of house and the pardon me please a pmp so yeah the head of house challenge kick starts and this was it right hmm. it was not an easy one the housemates were going in their numbers nobody could even complete that puzzle of um, head of house the housemates that literally tried is um ek soma venita alex right then it happens to be that um E.K. became the head of house. Yes, E.K. got himself that immunity this week. Congratulations to E.K., the new head of house. Meanwhile, I know it's about to be a very dangerous, you know, week in Biggie's house because E.K., hey, this guy, this guy, his plans, eh, his plans no be here. He's going to be a gangster head of house. That is just it. Kid Wire is one of them. They are in the same league, in fact, right? But anyways, we'll see how he plays out this week. He, ch he actually chose his BFFs and these are his BFFs. He chose um, Mercy, Venita first. Then he was like, Mercy, do you want? <laughs> and then he now chose Fisi and then Sheyi. When he wanted to choose Sheyi, he was acting like he was thinking about it. I literally know he would choose Sheyi. I actually mentioned it. I was like Sheyi and he did choose Sheyi. And I have my reason. Do not worry. They had a conversation, okay? And we're going to discuss about that conversation right here in this video. Like, they discussed something about Pere and Kidwire's plotting. But don't worry. Calm down. Calm down. We're going to see how that goes. But first off, let's see how the housemate nominated their PMP. Pardon me, please. Guys, this pardon me, please is actually causing a lot like hey to the extent that kid wire was going to promising housemate money for them to nominate him in the diary session anyways let me be calling how the housemate nominated their bm sorry their pmp then i will be discussing on each of the nominations okay fraud nominated mercy okay first of before i, I start um uh, venita mercy um ek and Sheyi, they actually went upstairs, okay? And then they were like, they were go they're going to nominate Kidwire. Actually, like I said, Kidwire promised the housemates money to nominate him. But last, last, they actually decided to nominate Fraud. And it was um, this girl, Mercy, that, you know, suggested Fraud. And others now later said, okay, why not enter our mind before? Okay, okay. So they, they all left. Now the, the nomination begins. Fraud nominated Mercy. Angel nominated Fraud. Angel did not have this conspiracy conversation with them or anything, no. But she nominated fraud. Pere, as usual, nominated Cross. Doyin nominated Adekule. Now, this is where it is. Remember, I know some people were like surprised. How come Doyin nominated Adekule? What's in the soap? Adekule and uh, Doyin are not in good terms. How come? You know, people were just questioning, is Doyin, is this a strategy? I was just laughing. The way I'm seeing this in this, and I think I am the only person that understands Doyin's personality. Doyin has read this housemate and the kind of people they are. None of them send each other. Other seasons are uh, cooperating. Especially the season that are really cooperating is the Pepe Dem season. They want to plan and take out all other people out. But I don't know why these housemates are not seeing this. Only Doi has seen this. She actually said something right now as I am making this video in the garden. But I will discuss that in my next video. 
So, don't you nominate her Adekule, you know? And then, people were, like, asking a lot of questions. But she has actually said the reason why she nominated Adekule right now on The Garden. She said something. She said that. She said she better nominate Adekule than nominated all these people in this house. That they are not to be trusted. That it is a season battle. And that is what it is. That Donny is very sharp. She was like, Adekule should better wake up from his slumber so that he would know that this is a season battle. I think each season should just be cooperative and that would be the best thing to do. Right now, fraud winning the people that have actually di uh, um, discovered their plot is Pere and cross they have noticed that oh this is a season thingy right let's continue with the nomination process anyways don't you said it would have been easy for her to nominate ilebaye but because baby girl cannot be nominated today but, um, ilebaye and cc do not forget that because of their punishment okay kid nominated alex Venita nominated Adekunle. Now this is it. This is where the <laughs> where the betrayer started. They actually discussed that they would nominate fraud. Venita now went in there and nominated Adekunle. Is this the shipping sign? Hey, oh more he choke. All right, and then Cross nominated Kid Wyatt. Cross again. So people were like, what is really happening? Doesn't mean that Cross do not really like Pere. Brother, brother, brother for mouth. And you cannot even nominate your brother for once for PMP. Is that how much you love him? You know, people have been coming for him a whole lot. You know, Cross did this last week. And I'm like, actually, he did that because he knows that Pere would be safe. But on the second hand, Pere has been mentioning Cross back to back. Why did he not feel like Cross would be safe if dominated? But because you know this thing is pardon me. And you know that the one person that got your back is that person. That's one thing I like doing for. She is so plain and she loves to the core. Right? She said, because of she knows Ilebaye is one person, she knows that, yes, it's not really like she knows that Ilebaye is one strong thing, we have a strong thing we have, but because it is that one person she can confide in, talk to. You understand? So, she actually always coming for Ilebaye, but Cross actually choosing Pere. The first time Cross chose Soma, right? Now, Kid Wire. And I'm like, what's going to happen to Pere? Pere have been choosing this dude back to back. What's in they sub, Cross? What's in they sub? Do not let this housemate confuse you because that's who got your back. That is how life should be, you know? And Pere, despite his game plan, never, he never takes his game plan close to Cross. You understand? Because he knows that he's 1G, that he can say, oh, this is my brother. They know how close they are outside of the house. So right now it is giving Cross waiting there. So, but I feel Cross is actually doing that because he feels that Pere would be safe if he stand up. But guys, that is not enough reason to me though. Okay, oh, let's continue. Mercy chose fraud. Of course, that is quite expected. They are very close. In fact, they are always together. She you chose fraud. So other people kept to their own parts except Venita. Uriel chose Tolani Badge. New Tolani Badge. And Tolani Badge chose new. I do not know why Uriel chose Tolani Badge anyways. White Money chose Alex. So Ma chose Angel. Adekule chose Venita. Hmm, she, this ship is actually working. Oh. Alex chose Sheyi. Ik chose fraud, and now Ik is actually saying that fraud is not going to believe that um he 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 mentioned him for the PMP because of how close he is with Mercy because Venita is actually scared you know she's feeling in a type of way because she did not you know mention fraud you know for the PMP so she has been going around talking to Ik that she not mentioned fraud and Ik was like does it really matter even us we have a conversation here and we're discussing what matters is what really matter Ik was like it does not matter if you mention fraud or whether you do not mention fraud what really matter is he ended up becoming the pardon me please for this week yes you heard me right fraud is was the person that was mentioned more in the diary section so the pepper them gang is actually ruling right they are ruling they are doing it in a different kind of way because they are actually have quite number they are much than other se season they are five in number right if i'm not mistaken you know so if five of them decided to choose one person that person would definitely be saved and i think that is the route they want to be playing with right now so mercy was even telling them no one won't choose me they were like i beg you go meaning because they know that she has fans already there is no need to you know but fraud is actually crying after he was you know chosen and he was saying something about venita i think fraud i don't know how fraud gets to hear that venita did not you know nominate him and he was crying about that anyways that is that for that Reni Zion said, Pepe them are hanging and playing a solid game. You're there busy wishing for Angel to have been replaced with Liquo. Fake calling Liquor's name for cloud votes. I know that game since. This is coming to this. Um, Reni Zion is actually referring to Cross and Pere. You know, actually to Cross. She's a Pere stan. You know, Cross is saying that he wished that Liquor Rose was replaced with Angel. But that doesn't change anything though. Aisha de la Cruz says, 
I feel cross love his parade, but doesn't think he need the pardon because he think he has a strong fan base and they will save him. Make una no vex for cross. I see cross as somebody that is a free spirited person, right? I think he's somebody that know how to love back too. But to this doing this one, I no can wait till I go talk again. Let's just believe that that is that was his reason for doing whatever he is doing. Okay, it's not about now. People are like you're wishing that you, you said you wish the Quarrows is here. I think that's why Reni Zion is saying what she's saying. Cross is saying he wish the Quarrows is here when your own brother. That person, somebody you call your brother, you cannot even stand for him. You know, Jigato. Coming from Miracle OP of the Kosiko, he said, If this pardon me, please, was a thing in Baby Titan, even though my first name is Miracle, my middle name Sign, and then my last name Wonder. <laughs> Nobody will still pardon me. Of course, thank God you know you had a loud mouth in BB Titan. And then Utin Wachuku, the winner of Big Brother All Stars during their season, said, Left to me, fraud should be getting this pardon me, please, every week. He is the most neutral person in that house. Do you think so, guys? Do you think fraud is the most neutral person? I don't think, I, I do not accept that. Come on. Somebody who is neutral will not only be on his people's part. I know what I'm saying. Do, okay, let's ask the question. Do you think fraud is the most neutral person in that house? House. Let me know in the comment section. Let's enter the next discussion. I see they hurt. Sheyi reveals that Pere pitched Angel and Soma against each other. Sheyi, if Soma and Angel ship properly, they will be a force to reckon with. They discuss Pere that he is talking out ships but trying to get Alex in a ship. Now, the thing is this. You guys remember what happened earlier on today about Soma and Angel. I do not know if you came across that video on my channel. Soma and Angel actually had a, an ish today. What really happened? After they were having that ish, Pere came to, the, to Angel and tell Angel that Soma was saying some things about her name in the toilet. And Angel now believed that and started saying some things about Soma to um, Pere and Tolani Badge. Venita later came back. I don't know. I'm telling you guys about what happened, but let me not tell you guys. If you think you do not understand what I'll be talking right now, kindly go back to my channel. You would see the video there. You would understand where I'm coming from. Guys, do you know that Pere was really lying against Soma that morning? Pere actually framed those things up just to get those sheep scattered because that is the plan Pere had with Kid Wire today. I literally was listening to them before Big Brother called them to the arena all together, you know, to crown Ike the winner. Pere and Kid Wire were busy plotting. Then Ike and Sheyi went inside and was discussing. Ike was like, Pere was even offering him 200 coins so that he would choose him as a BFF if he wins. Then Sheyi was not telling Ike that he should calm down observe and do not let these people get to his head because they are actually planning a lot that Pere wants to take all the sheep out hey guys if i tell you guys the plotting in this house it's too much i will even continue more on my previous video because we have a lot here already coming from doni david i will go to bed every day sleeping like a baby knowing that i have not done one single bath to anybody and anybody that has bad things to say about me is just out of spite Doyin David. Exactly word for word. This was what Doyin told Uriel. Doyin was having a conversation with Uriel today and she was like, you see this house that she do not trust anybody, that her only happiness is this, that the only place she would get worried is if Big Brother give eviction in the hands of housemaid like he did in their set. That's eviction that, that led to Amaka leaving the house. She said that's the only way she would be scared because if Big Brother do that, that she would be leaving. That she would she stand at high risk of leaving the house. You understand? But aside that, that she's going to be staying on her own line, doing her own thing in her own pace because she know that all of those housemates, nobody sent her. She was telling Uriel face to face. You know, this girl is so, she's so plain. She know they hide mouths. And I think that was one, one of the reasons why people do not really get along with her because people do not like people who comes out streets. Yes. Doing is a straightforward person. So, she now also said that, you see this, um, people, P PMP thinking that the person that is always in her mind is um, Ilebaye. That if not that big brother to say that Ilebaye and Sisi would not be nominated today, that it would have make it, it would have been an easy peasy thing for her. She would have just gone in there, mention Ilebaye and be free. But right now, that Ilebaye cannot be nominated, that she would think of somebody whom she think the second close genuine person that she might think of, and that is the person she would nominate. And guess who she nominated? She did nominate Adekule, and I think she nominated Adekule not because of Adekule is the closest person or whatsoever to her, but she feel because this is my set mate. 
let me just nominate my season mate because all of these other people they do not really deserve it i really love how sharp doing it is anyways let's hear from hills they lot in a normal world venita would be a top contender for this money every season we will complain of not having enough smart ladies on the show but anyways that i, I, I must admit it venita is so smart i bet she's so good with tax that lady is just so good with tax okay coming from ade doing is ade saying white money is a liar and be selling the housemaid zobo or um, more well, i don't know what i don't know the thing with ade and white money i think ade see white money to be a fake person and i don't know why he is the person seeing white money that way to me i see white money as a free-spirited guy who does not like wahala but he said white money was saying something that white money said he sells car and he asked white money at the amount of the car white money could not even say then he now smiled so i do not know if he's saying that white money is selling a lot of lies on this show in the name of selling himself Guys, did you see that um, personality in white money? Have you ever thought of that in white money, both previously and now? Kindly let me know what you feel in the comment section because right now, Adekule has once said something about white money too in the diary session. Now he is saying this to Venita and Co. What is really happening? Okay. Adekule Handler actually posted this. He said, over Kakugo kill me, continue with the enjoyer. Omo um, uh, Adekule can is so calculative for Africa. He would just analyze every housemate and everything. But this white money only is something me I had I don't think I do not think it is true. Smart ladies, that was that was the first thing that pushed me to beauty. Her smartness during games were top notch. Venita is another smart lady to get 80% of the puzzle correct. She deserves her flowers, I beg. Truly, she truly, truly, truly deserve her flowers. Out of the female housemates, Venita is that number one female housemate who is always standing in, standing out in whatever game they are playing. And I think she truly deserves her flowers. Coming from Mavi of UK, Venita is a very smart woman. I just hope her fan base is big enough to keep her in the house for long because Nigerians don't rate smart people and they like rewarding mediocrity. See, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with this. I'm not gonna argue with it. This person is not far from the truth. I didn't know I am wicked like this. The way I was screaming, eh, any jury that saved this boy again will collect heavy. <laughs> okay, about Sheyi, right? I'm telling you, when they were actually looking for the envelope, I did not just you guys now. The housemate could not find any envelope except Sheyi. You know, when Sheyi found the envelope in his mind, oh, he has won immunity for this week, guys. Guess what? It actually says that you can go to, he has immunity to be to use the gym. Now, imagine somebody who is already chosen by the head of house as a BFF has immunity of the gym. It's just as good as the thing is useless. And Big Brother now told um, the head of house to go to the places where those cards were hidden that the housemate did not discover for the head of house to go and bring them out. And EK did bring those. Um, those black envelope out and the housemates were so surprised can you believe that the envelope that is in the kitchen under the kitchen plate rack is the one that had immunity or more biggie be playing with those kids anyhow anyhow coming from oracle i am happy for ek this hoh win ensures he is not up for possible eviction this week honestly he is quite a cool guy and deserves more time to play his game i was so shocked when i saw him in the bottom four last night at the eviction show he is better than Sheyi, no doubt indeed hoh winning is another boost to always leverage on how far can he take housemate is left to be seen anyways anyways i do not know but i think yes in as much as ek has his own two percent farm i'll be one percent farm what would i call it but he's actually making this game interesting he's one of the housemates that are strategic ek pere and um Sheyi. okay no ek pere she is just in between and kid wire they're actually the strategic ones on this particular show you can as well list the people you think that is strategic too in the comment section guys i'll be dropping my voice right here i think i have spoken a lot in this particular video because i am coming right back with another bamba like guys just plenty so just chillax take a chill pill mean just mimi is coming back for you thank you so much for watching and do not forget i love you because if i don't love you waiting again bye bye